and welcome to a very wet Monday morning. Uh, I'm Karen, I'm in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. I've got Terry with me. Hello everybody. Hello and welcome to my YouTubers. I'll get that in first so that everybody watching on YouTube, hi and welcome. Today I am going to be baking mini baked Alaskas. Now I've done small ones before that you would have divided into, uh, into two portions because I did them in the uh, four inch spring form Wilton tins. But I'm going to actually use our lovely square pea meeting. And I'm going to make some singular sponges and then we're going to top those with some ready-made strawberries and cream ice cream that I made last week on the live for you when you were watching that. And then we're going to top it with strawberries and cream pavlova mix and use a blowtorch rather than put them in the oven and just uh, blowtorch them. So how about that? Have we got any special hellos, Terry, there that people want so, to shout out? The first hello, we've got uh, Debbie Hargreaves saying good morning, everyone. We've uh, got a good morning from Rainy Oldham from Janie. Um, morning, everyone. Morning, all. And, yeah. Can you put me on the front screen while you're looking at those? Yes, sir. It's okay. So, good morning, everybody. And I think we're in for some wet and awful weather for the next few days. And then looking at uh, the, the weather forecast, it's starting to go nice from Thursday, thank goodness. And next weekend, it should be a lovely warm weekend. So the first thing we're going to do first is we're going to make the sponges. I'm, go I'm only doing um, the 100 gram mix because that makes me gorgeous eight square sponges and you know what sometimes you don't need more than that so i've got the 100 gram mix there makes me lovely eight sponges and then once those are popped into the oven we'll then get on with making the whipping it up and putting the ice cream on top of these ones we have good afternoon all from karen on youtube good it's good afternoon <laughs> you might be a bit further on than us because it's still morning here but you know hello there thank you for joining us the first thing that's going into my mixing bowl is 100 grams of margarine. Now this recipe for these mini ones is not on the website. The one for the individual ones was that I did last time, but I'm going to put this one on after lunch. Uh, soon as, well, after the live. As soon as we're done the live, I'll put this one for this mini one on because these are a, a, a much better size where these are a lovely single serving uh, baked Alaska. So that's 100 grams of margarine and 100 grams of, I'm using velvet vanilla, natural flavoured icing sugar. Karen's in Malta, just to clarify. <laughs> yes, you are ahead of us there, aren't you, Karen? Good afternoon. That's where my family's from. And I bet your one is better in Malta than what it is here. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be. <laughs> so we're going to turn that on. Just a slow speed at the moment, just to get everything mixed, to mix together. Now I'm on the Kenwood. So it's not too bad, I've not had to chop it in really there. When you're on the KitchenAid, you really do have to chop your icing sugar and your margarine in to prevent any uh, icing sugar cloud just going all over your kitchen. I'm just turning to, I want this to be nice, light and fluffy. While that's mixing up, we'll break two eggs into the bowl. Now I'm using large eggs, I've got two large eggs. And I have 100 grams of self-raising flour. And it's just our basic sponge recipe that we're using that everyone actually loves. But just turn the mixer up. As I said on the live before, the way to make your sponges really light and fluffy is really whip, really beat with the paddle your icing sugar and your margarine until it goes really nice, light and fluffy. And then add the eggs and then slowly mix in the flour and you will get a good rise on your sponges. And just to clarify, Susan, it is whipping it up that we're using. Yes. yes. I'll be using whipping it up to make the pavel over. I thought I'd got the wrong bag out then. Susan, there it is. So I'm using the strawberries and cream, our new flavour of whipping it up. So the recipe for these mini pavlo, uh, mini, mini baked Alaskas will be on the website after lunch and then you'll be able to find them at, at www.sugarandcrumbs.mixingitup.co.uk uh, and also it will go straight onto the Facebook recipe site as well. So that's www.sugarandcrumbs.mixingitup.co.uk 
www.ghostbusiness.co.uk I couldn't get my W's out then, Terry. Too many W's. <laughs> I hope everyone's had a lovely weekend. We've got a weather talk on here. It is very rainy, except we have um, heavy rain in Newcastle, Manchester. But the, uh, the sun is shining in Rickmansworth. Yeah. Very nice. For those lucky of you. You are lucky, but I think it's, uh, we're, we're all going to get some kind of deluge, aren't we? I mean, it has been really heavy here this morning. And it was uh, torrential yesterday. Every time, the, every time the rain started yesterday, it really was torrential. So I think the whole of the country is going to be suffering in the next few days. That old saying, Mother Brown needed it. You know what? Give it at night. <laughs> My mum's a farmer and she'll be absolutely loving it right now. Gorgeous in Northampton. Oh, lovely. So you've sent it all up our way, have you? Thanks a lot. As you can see from that, if Terry can get in, I don't know if Terry can see a little bit of the overhead there. That's starting to go nice, light and fluffy. Now, if I was at home, I would be mixing this for a good, oh, five to six minutes. I really would. I just, I just usually put it on and I just usually pot around near where the mixture is to make sure everything's okay. And I just leave it going for about five to six minutes, just so it gets really nice, light and fluffy. But I'm actually not going to subject you waiting there for five to six minutes. Have you got any questions about anything else? Anything anybody wants to ask me? So. Here we go. So I'm going to put the eggs in one at a time and just mix a little bit of, I'll tell you what I did forget, I forgot my dessert spoon. are available on the website. So we're going to put the egg in one at a time. And I'm just going to put a little bit of the flour in to stop the mix going curdly. It doesn't matter if it does go curdly because once you've got the rest of the flour in you give it that really good beat for, uh, for no more than 30 seconds then everything goes really nice and smooth. I just have to make sure that the, uh, the first egg is mixing in really nice there. So can you see me if you go on that camera? Can you see me down that one? Just do, oh, well, if I just get my hand out there. There we go. <laughs> As you can see, it's a nice long way, isn't it, down there? It's great. It's lovely. Basically, you get to see us now, rather than just say we're just walking to the oven. At least you get to see us go into the oven now, and we're not lost. Some of the ladies are saying that the sound as well. I'll just turn that. Both of you have one on you, no? I must have shrunk. <laughs> Let's put the other egg in now. And a spoonful of my flour. And the wavy's on YouTube. 
Wayne. Hi, Wayne. So you've had a you've had a change, have you? And gone over to the YouTube channel. I'm just gonna give this a good mix up now. Then I'm gonna scrape the bowl down again and add the rest of the flour. Scrape down. And we'll just start to add the flour in just with this, just slowly with a spoon. It's on the low speed. Just give this a good mix now the third no more than 30 seconds right I've got that 30 seconds there Andy on our website. They are in the uh, in the what's new section, so or you can put spatulas in in the search bar and that will bring that up. But they are in the what's new section, and you could also look on the products the last product live that Carol did last Thursday. If you go along the uh, the top bar to Facebook Lives and then pop down to the first one, which is says new products and nifty nozzles, and it was on the first of July, you'll see them there as well. Love them. What I did forget to do was prepare my tin before I started this. What do it? A little bit of cake. I'm using cake release because I'm not using any um, paper cases. I'm just doing them straight into the tin. So a little bit of cake release in there. I just get a piece of tissue and just make sure it's all wiped round the sides. That way they pop out really easy. I just uh, get a little tiny palette knife. Uh, once they've cooled down in the tin, a little tiny palette knife, and it just eases it up. If you try and use your fingers to ease it up, you'll find that it might crack the sponge on one side, so you are better to use a little palette knife and just pop it up. And so just make sure you get your sides so your sponge, your batter mix won't stick to the sides. And they are all prepared. Things scraped down there, then I'm going to use a dessert spoon. Just spoon it. I'm not going, I'm just going to just above halfway. You'd be intrigued, will you, to know that the ice cream stays yes, solid. Sir. I mean, if you want to, you can, uh, once you've, the sponges are done, I'm doing it with a blowtorch with the um, the meringue, but you can pop them back in the oven for, I think it's uh, just about 10 minutes just to brown your meringue if you haven't got a cook's torch. Now I think I've been a bit probably not as generous with the other ones. I'm just making sure that these are all so I'm actually gonna get nine, which is great. There we go, 
though, so that's that's nine. And these are going on 140 degrees C, which is the fan oven, 160 degrees C of the conventional oven, which is um, gas mark two and 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And here we go to our oven, using this one for a change. And I'm going to put the timer on there, I'm going to put the timer on for 15 minutes, but they do take between 15 and 20 minutes, depending on your oven. So I just want to check them at 15 and then we can do it a few minutes at a time for that. Back. <laughs> Jamie asks, can you put them under the grill instead of back in the oven, Karen? You could, but you're only going to grill the top, aren't you? You're not going to get, because remember the, elast the, the, uh, the meringue goes all the way down to the bottom of the sponge. So you only, if you put them under the grill, you're only going to bake the top part there and it catches quite quickly. So I don't know if the grill will probably be a bit too fierce for it. Um, you don't have to, with it, you don't even have to uh, brown our pavlova, the, brown the, the uh, meringue mix up. Because it's got the pasteurised egg white in it, it's actually perfectly all right to eat once it's been made up. You don't have to brown it. I just like to brown it to make it go that like, nice and crispy on the outside. But you could, if you wanted to, you could just leave it, just leave it white. Um, but I guess it's only, it's only... I'm sure when I read it, it was only, for a big one, it was only like 15 minutes. So for these little cakes, you're looking between like five and eight minutes in the oven just to, and all you're doing is getting a very light golden brown on the uh, meringue mix. Right, so this is number one mixer out of the way. Because I'm using the chem ones, I've only got one bowl per mixer, so move that one out of the way. So many mixers, which was time. <laughs> And move its sister one in. And what flavour are we looking at for using today? Karen? Well, we're actually going to use strawberries and cream because the ice cream is strawberries and cream flavour as well. And with a velvet vanilla uh, sponge, it's just. Uh, and do you like it? Look, she's so excited. <laughs> Look what she's done. Do you like it? So if you've got what you've got, is it just? Are um, oh, you getting all the flavours coming? The all the flavours come up, do they? So how do you like that? Do you think she's done a good job there? And she's actually in the process of making the banners for um, for for the icing sugars as well and wonder dust. She's doing them for everything. So when we mention the word whipping it up, it comes up. <laughs> I did tease her and say I was going to say whipping it up all day, all morning. Just every time she clicks it off, I'd say it again. But and she's doing a good job there. It's great, isn't it? So it tells, you it's, it tells you it's gluten-free, dairy-free, nut-free and vegetarian. How good is that? It means actually I can remember now and I can read it going down. Yeah, well you're, you're pretty much on point all the time. <laughs> right, I'm only going to use half a bag of whipping it up. So I'm going to use 250 grams and then I will need 100 mils of room temperature water. Thank you, ladies. They're all compliments, Absolutely. Just making sure there's nothing in that bowl. This was a nice clean bowl out of the dishwasher this morning. Make sure there was no bits in that because we are making meringue. And as we know, we need a grease-free bowl and a grease-free whisk. Otherwise, you'll never get the soft peaks, the, sorry, the stiff peaks that you're going for. So 250 grams of strawberries and cream, whipping it up. Yeah, most of you've done a good job on that. Can't wait to see when you've done the rest of them. I know I'm thinking lots of um, shimmery, glittery tones for oh, the dust. How good. So that can make some magic. There we go, 250 grams. So I'll put that onto the mixer. Change it to mil, even though we don't have to. There we go. And I just need a hundred mil of room temperature water, which is what I've got in this pink measuring jug here. that goes down. <laughs> yeah. keep it up. So there we go. So it's on slow and I'm just adding the water now. Now on our recipe webpage to make pavlova you actually put a teaspoon of um, 
white wine vinegar in as well and then that's to give it the the chew but i haven't got any in the kitchen today i never realized i didn't have any but it is optional as well you don't have to put it in if you don't want to and as it's going over ice cream and it's going to be blow torched it's not going in the oven for that 45 50 minutes so and i'm not leaving it to to go cool so we're going to be eating them you, you would be eating them pretty much straight away once you've baked them. So turn that up, just tap the bowl down. We're getting all that lovely whipping it up into the water. And what I can do, oh, get my, oh, I know, but I've got to make sure that, it, remember, we have to make sure that it's grease free. Clean tea towel there, that's fine. Yep, yeah, there is not a mark on that, that's fine. And why is that so important? Then? Because if I put that spatula in there with some uh, like margarine on there or a bit of a uh, cake mix there, your meringue mix wouldn't get to its stiff peaks. You'd be putting some grease into there and then that would make your meringue, it would make your meringue mix fail. What I'm gonna do now is just turn the mixer off just so I can just, I don't want to stir it, I just want to knock down just the excess whipping it up, it's just around the bowl there. And you put the water in all at once? Or all at once, no, nope, all, all at once. once. I just I just slowly poured it in there and then what we're going to do now is we're going to turn the mixer up. Now this will take roughly about five, it can take up to five minutes. And we'll get that, that'll, you'll see that getting into nice stiff peaks. Now while I'm waiting for that, I'm just going to... Oh! <laughs> Paint from before. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Food colouring, you know me. <laughs> right, what I'm going to do now is, I'm just going to go and get my jug of hot water out of the kettle because I want to put these in to start warming these up so they can go through the ice cream and I can put uh, a blob of ice cream onto each of the cakes. <laughs> well, I just knew you were showing me then, so I thought I had to I'll just come back because the kettle's near about it. Now I'm just looking as well. I might get that's starting to whisk up nicely. That I'm just going to look in my cupboard to see if I've got the bigger one. I'm just wondering if it, I mean, I've only got a small at the moment. So just bear with me. Let's check this drawer. with this size as well. That's uh, picking it up really nice in there now. I don't know if you can see into the mixing bowl. That's starting, it's really lovely and white. Starting to mix up. Turn the speed up now to full speed. A couple of minutes and that should be done. It's really starting to taste the texture of it. So I've got my hot water there, which I'm going to put these into that. Uh, Terry, could you pass me the ice cream out of the freezer, please? Yes. No, the ones on the top, please. Yeah, thank you. This is some that I made last week and I froze it into two little tubs so I just want to get that softened down. Here we go. Aww. Use that one first. Can I just say, um, so, what you just said, is it your new radio sponsor from 
the great visuals to have a playlist. Okay, so she's doing a great job. Please congratulate the person responsible. And Pixie said, I was thinking that too, it's much better than the common group. Don't get this on any other lives. Oh, that's really nice. I'll be telling that to the rest of our crew, and I'm pretty sure they'll thoroughly appreciate it. They certainly will. They love lovely. They say it's great when they get lovely feedback. And they do do such a good job, don't they, on the camera and all the and everything, all the videos that they make and all the Instagrams that they do. And when they put the banners up, they really go to town on it now. I love them. So what's our next video? It's going to be uh, another summer vibes video with, like, back to school and um, also hopefully the green day Oh, yes. Yes, the 19th of July. Fingers crossed. I really want it. He's looking so positive now though, isn't he? Because he's really talking about Freedom Day the 19th of July. And then we've got our demo day, our first demo day on the 24th of July. I'll be on in the morning doing chocolate and then Carol's on in the afternoon doing nifty nozzles. What, what better way to celebrate a Saturday than chocolate and cake? I know. <laughs> I'm just going to show you this now. Turn that off. Yeah, sorry Jenny, I had to move the microphone to Karen because you were struggling to hear her. So I might, I, I might have to speak up a bit more. <laughs> That's not a problem to Terry, <laughs> believe you me. So that is nearly at stiff peaks now, but it's still a little bit too soft. So we are just going to, even though it's, it's, it, was droop, it was drooping in this kitchen, we don't do droopers. No droopers. No droopers. We're just going to turn up again. It's practically there. I don't want to put the ice cream onto the cake yet until I've got the meringue all bagged up. It smells so delicious, this strawberries and cream uh, meringue mix. And it'll really complement the strawberries and cream ice cream as well. I don't think you can see into the bowl again now, but that is really thickening up now and it's uh, starting to leave grooves in the mix. So I know that it's practically there now. Are they still having trouble hearing me? Yeah. Oh, not yet, yeah, alright. Yeah, they can hear my voice then. Pixie loves how glossy it looks. It is very, very glossy, isn't it? It's gorgeous. So we'll just turn it off again now. Let's just check it again now. Oh, look. I've even look. <laughs> <laughs> so I've even dared to put it on my head knowing it's not going to drop off. So we have got that a perfect uh, pavlova meringue mix there. Too daring. And I'm going to use a big bag today. I'm going to use a 20 inch bag because I don't want to be handling um, the meringue mix too much. I'm going to get it all into one bag. So again, you uh, really fold down your bag until you get to the end because you don't with these sharp points with the 1M, you don't want to uh, pierce your bag, otherwise you'll have little spaghetti, spaghetti meringue pieces coming through while you're trying to pipe. So very carefully into that, there we go. And I'm just going to fill the bag up now with the meringue. Now if you wanted to, you could just use a spoon and spoon it over your ice cream. I just wanted just to pipe it around, try and make it a bit, a bit, a bit posher. Um, Deb asks, looks yummy, have you ever made Arctic roll, Karen? No, I haven't. But again, all I would be doing then is just making a Swiss roll and then throwing the ice cream in it really quickly, yeah. <laughs> really quickly, and then rolling the uh, the Swiss uh, rolling the Swiss roll back up. But you know what? That could be one that I could try, couldn't I? That'd be cool. <laughs> Thanks, Debbie. Was that Debbie Hargreaves? Debbie and Baldrige. Debbie, Bur oh, great for putting me on the spot there. Well, you know what? We could have a have a whirl at that. Have a whirl at Arctic roll. So I'm just going to put that there. 
So we would have to make the ice cream. I'd make the ice cream beforehand, but I would show you how to do the ice cream because we're going to have to make the ice cream um, in a cylinder. We're going to have to uh, probably roll it in some cling film and then uh, so we can get a, a, a cylinder shape to go in the Arctic roll. It'd be no good trying to use these little um, scoops to try and fill an Arctic roll. So do you know what? You give me something to think about there. Thank you. Challenge, don't we, Karen? we do. So you can see it's nice, it's lovely this ice cream. And now I've just warmed my scoop up. Come on, you know you want to. Pixie says you can do it with the Arctic roll, you make everything work. <laughs> oh. Do you know, doesn't the oven go off at the most? These are the best times. The best <laughs> times. We just get this ice cream onto there. Bear with me. Two sips. Watch me come down. <laughs> so no, they're not quite ready yet. They're going to need. I'm going to put that on for another four, another um, four minutes. Just uh, they're starting to go slightly brown now, but I can tell. Look at them; that they're not quite cut. So another four minutes, and then we'll give them a check again. Back to ice cream. So what I will do is, I'm going to just take them off there, I'm going to just pipe these ones and then we can, so I'm, I'm sealing the ice cream in, you see. So bear with me a second, I just um, forgot one vital bit. You know what I forgot? What is it, Karen? The greenproof. Oh, greenproof. Greenproof. Just so the meringue comes off the, uh, the greaseproof paper nicely. Got a piece of greaseproof, there we go. There, and then we'll, we'll quickly... Just making sure I'm sealing all the sponge in and then just going with the nozzle I'm just making sure that I've sealed it in there we go Susan's asking do you not put jam on the sponge can if you want to So you've only got a little bit of ice cream on there, but you've got I mean you've got the sponge and then you've got the gorgeous meringue. So you've got as your spoon goes through that. I know to do all eight you are going to have to probably do um maybe the, the full bag unless you're putting a little bit less on but 
you could cut the sponges in half if you wanted to but I just like I, th I just think that's a, a nice it's not too, it's only it's only a cupcake size sponge remember cupcake size sponge with a little bit of ice cream on it and then it's just got your meringue going around it Check the oven quickly. Right, the meringue off, here we go. Just going to test these. If they're firm to the touch, yes, they're nice and firm to the touch. Which, um, I just want them to go just a tad browner. So, two more minutes. I mean, I've learned the touch, but I do just want them to put three minutes on that. I just want them to go a nice, I want them to be like these ones here. But they've got a nice golden brown, um, if you can get this, I'll get those in here. A nice golden brown. So, that's all I'm going to do for now with these ones because I have practically, you know what, I might squeeze another one. It'll make your photos all right then, won't it? A blob of ice cream there. I don't actually think it will... You know what, let's just go around the top. Just to seal the ice cream in and then I can try and get around the bottom if I can. I'm going to just turn it round now. I'm just going to see what it looks like like that. Yeah, well, all I need to do with that is I just need to, there we go, bring that down like that. Just turn the tray around. I'm just uh, sealing. I'm just sealing the sponge. You know, that looks as good as well, though, doesn't it? Just having the meringue on top of the sponge like that. Just, um... Them very carefully. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought you were going to say, I'll just put that straight in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Note to self don't use a blowtorch on the greaseproof paper. Burn. It's going to burn. So, just while I just um, slide these bad boys off onto the tray. Onto the tray. Oh, it does look good. Though. Do them on a tray, don't do them on the grease proof. Because you can't smell the burning from here. <laughs> I can. So that's the one that I've just done on the top of the sponge. And we'll just bring that one back. Very carefully. There we go. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, what should I do? It just looks really good for seeing it change. <laughs> I'll just do this last one and I'll go and get my uh, buns out of the oven. One of the ladies says, there are no calories in the meringue world, it's just bad. <laughs> you are very true, it is, isn't it? Right, just bear with me a second. That's it's a very annoying beat. Now that's better. I'll be able to show you what I meant now. There, can you can see those now. They're a lovely golden brown colour. Can you see those from there, Sarah? Yep. Yeah, so they're a lovely golden brown. They're starting to away from the edge of the tin. 
and I'm going to leave them to cool in this tin now for a good 10 to 15 minutes uh, until I use a little palette knife and I can get it out and put them onto the cooling tray to cool completely. Is the grey board heat resistant? Well, that, I'm on a tray. So I'm actually on a tray, and the tray, I'm not getting the tray, I'm only getting the meringue, so the tray is actually not hot. So you're just catching, you're catching the, the, the swirly bits. I'm now. <laughs> Turn that off. So look at those. And I actually do like this one. And if I can pick this one up, I'll just get another spatula now, just pick that one up to show you without dropping it. Carol says you get your steps up, Karen, while he's walking. I know. So I actually I've got my big I've got a big thing spatula here, but look at that one. I actually oh, where have you gone? <laughs> I actually, oh, right one. Can you go to the front camera? I actually like that one where I've got the sponge still showing. I've got the ice cream underneath and I've put a meringue topping on it. I think that looks pretty. Like that. But you can, if you wanted to, do the whole bait. The whole bait to Alaska is when you cover all the sponge and you cover the ice cream. But it would work like that as well if you wanted a, a nice... And uh, you've not got as much meringue then, but do you know what? It might just be a nice little dessert. Yeah. Like that. And then... Meringue everywhere. Yep. Meringue explosion. Meringue, meringue ex heaven. Jamie says, I love seeing the ovens and the long look of the kitchen. Yeah, you know, it's nice, Is yum that and you just want to just wipe that down a little bit there we go just wipe the board around it so it's nice and clean then you could take those to a table so you see around there see that so while they're on there you can just get it a bit more now just around that side that the bits that I've missed and think oh yes because all I'm doing is I'm just making sure that all the meringue is completely sealed There we go. So put that out of the way. And there you have some mini pavlovas. And to me, they are just a beautiful size for a single dessert. You've got your gorgeous single portion um, sponge there, flavoured with velvet vanilla icing sugar. And then we've got our strawberries and cream ice cream. Remember, you can make the ice cream with, we've got over 50 flavours, so you can make the ice cream any flavour you wanted. And you could mix it up. You don't have to do the same uh, whipping up as you've got done with the ice cream. It would be nice because it's the, the taste is there. But imagine if you did, you could do um, a velvet sponge. If you want to do, do a velvet ice cream, velvet vanilla ice cream, and then do a meringue topping, or do a flavoured ice cream and a velvet vanilla meringue topping the world is your oyster so what do you think <laughs> <laughs>
and I'll just bring the cakes down here now so I can show you those cakes in case you did manage to see it on our other super duper cameras just cleaning my hang up a bit it does <laughs> get everywhere <laughs> it gets everywhere doesn't it never mind Oh, it's a compliment to beautiful Karen. Claire Corbett says, uh, yummy, a beautiful Molly Thompson, yummy. Uh, Leslie says, brilliant, and as you say, a great portion size. It is. So these have been cool. that that tin's oh that tin's cool now. So as I was saying, with your palette knife, you just want to go around. I mean, look how easy it is. You just go around, just to, just to gently off, and then just a little palette knife, you're up. So I'll just show you that one again. Just want to loosen it. And then a little pattern like you're up. If you try and pick it up with your hands like that, you'll end up squeezing the sponge where it breaks. So you just want a little pallet knife or you know the pallet knife that you've got. There you go. And then these can go onto the wire tray. Nikki, I lost my water. John says definitely. Um, Helen says they look amazing. Michelle, brilliant. Karen, Jeb's amazing. Anne says she'll be making these. They, there's so much flavour choice. There is, and you know what? The, as you said, the, they're, a, they're a great one portion serving. So you can make these, and uh, you know you're not going to be over facing people. I'm going to bring that over here. Andy says, while well, I just want to face the problem. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got the. That's where the meringue went before, so I'm just going to wipe that up there so you can't. Doesn't, it's not going to touch any of the cakes, but there we go. On the leg, as usual. You know, it always is, isn't it? There we go. Guys, let's guess what I'm making this afternoon. <laughs> Would you be making some mini baked pavlovas? So remember, you don't have to do them in your square tin. You can do them in your mini mini baked pavlovas. <laughs> what am I like? Yeah, it's because I've used a pavlova mix. Your mini baked Alaskas. You don't have to use the square tin. Use your round bun tin. Absolutely amazing. Any shape you want. Any shape you want. <laughs> but you've got a perfect size then. If you do them in your cupcake one, even if you do it, you could make some thinner ones. So you've got your PME tins here, your normal bun tins, where you could make your buns in there if you wanted a bit deeper one. Or you've got your what I call your fairy cupcake ones. You could make some thinner sponges in this one in the thinner one and then you haven't got as much sponge so it depends on completely how much you want to make and uh, how much you want to serve exactly to what you, want. you can and remember that um that 100 gram mix then has made me nine square ones so it's going to make you possibly eight seven or eight round ones depending on how deep you go you don't have to go to a full bun size you could just fill that up halfway if you wanted and then just let it all cook and then get your little mini palette knife but remember use your cake release use your cake release in your, in your bun tin so that you can get your little palette knife underneath and you can pop them out and Deb asks, was it 250 whipping it up to 100 gram water Yes, 100 mils of water, room temperature water, yes. And if you want to, you can put a teaspoon of white wine vinegar in there, but I haven't, and they've still turned out as nice because I've used a blowtorch on them. Now, if you don't want to use a blowtorch, remember, put them into um, a hot oven. I put them into, an, uh, I think it's around about 160 degrees, and about five to six minutes, just until they start to go golden brown, because you've sealed them all. And so that, that you've sealed it. So if you are going to put them in the oven, then don't leave them half like I have here because your sponge will heat up, will make melt your ice cream. If you seal all your cake in the meringue, you can put that back into the oven until it's golden brown. It'll be about five or six minutes until it's just turned golden brown and then take it out. You don't want your sponge to warm up as that will melt your ice cream. And thank you for the... Um, Suggestions. I will look into um, a baked Alaska. An roll. Oh, I'll go on then. I'll do an arts it roll even. <laughs> yeah, no, because I'm going to um, we're going to I'm going to look at ways of when we've made it, uh, get it into some cling film, and uh, we'll make a, a cylinder, and then we can do a lovely arts it roll. That'd be good, that won't mm. it? With a sponge, making Swiss roll. Do you know? What? <gasps> wow. <laughs> 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 So I will look at that, possibly uh, one of the lives next week. I could do that next Monday. 
In fact, you know what? Let's do. Let's pencil it in. Let's pencil in Arctic Roll for next Monday. How's that sound, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> I'm not forgetting you boys because you do tune in really faithfully. Thank you. Very happy, very pleased. I'm on the way, Karen. Go one, please. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's on the way? <laughs> I'll do one. <laughs> if only. And you know, if only, if only I could make these for the demonstration day, but they did melt. <laughs> 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 so I am saving like sponges and things because I'm going to be decorating, we and Carol's going to decorate things up and we've got cakes then for the demonstration days. So I'm so looking forward to seeing you and everybody who's coming on the 24th. Now, Carol's on tonight and it's going to be fun because John's on comments you've got that sultry voice again tonight <laughs> so you've got John on comments Carol's um, doing nifty nozzles she's showing you the mini nifty nozzles again she's going to be decorating a cake and some cupcakes so tune in to watch Carol at 8 o'clock then we've got Tracy Mann on this week is it Tuesday and Thursday yeah. and then you've got me again Friday on my free from and we have Tams on YouTube saying they look absolutely yummy good morning from Jamaica good morning, good morning Jamaica uh, I hope your weather is a little bit better than what it is here at the moment. <laughs> Torrential rain. <laughs> I know. We're, and, and apparently this is our summer. But no, it's supposed to be getting nice towards the end of January. It better have to, because remember, I'm going to Great Yarmouth. Yeah. <laughs> and they have nice weather there. <laughs> Get me holiday in. We're so, looking forward to tonight anyway. Good. So thank you so much for joining us, guys. And um, we'll see you again at 8 o'clock tonight. Other than that, I'll see you on Thursday night with Carol because I'm doing the comments on Thursday night with Carol so Carol's on again Thursday night and I said I'll come in do the comments and we'll have such fun and laughter on Thursday night and then I'm back with my free from on Friday and I can't wait to see you on the demo days yeah I'm looking forward to it I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the flesh and putting a lot of names to faces faces to names because I know all your names it's, it's sometimes getting your faces right so it'd be <laughs> lovely to see you all and we can't wait so thank you, Terry. Thank you. And thank you all for joining in. It's been a great morning. Thank you. Thank you.